Dave, a couple of shout outs. Obviously, the goalies are looking good so far. Yeah, you know, both nights we, you know, we get good solid performances. Um, you know, a couple, couple, you know, a couple of good saves at the right time along the way. Um, you know, I thought uh, I thought Groovy tonight. You know, just had a good, real good solid night, and that's you know that's what you want to see. How he comes in and uh, a little bit more chaotic probably in the second half. You know, in in front of him, but you know he did a good job finding pucks, and you know ultimately guys did a pretty good job of you know cleaning up some of the you know the uh, garbage laying around the crease. It looked like Shane Wright needed a few shifts to to start getting the jitters out, but then they got some work on the power play and. Seen to get going. What did you? Yeah, see? Shane had a good, solid night. Um, you know, he's, uh, you know, hey, it's first night. You know, um, starts in the face-off dot. Um, you know, and uh, you know from there, you know, goes out. You know, the 200-foot the game, right? So that's it's a good experience for him. Um, you know, I thought he, uh, you know, he went out and played a pretty simple, hard game. Um, you know, and did a good, pretty good job with his two line mates. We talk goal each night. What does that tell you with different personnel about your penalty killing? Yeah, I mean, we don't take too much away from that. I mean, that's, you know, obviously last night, that, you know, you know, Tan have made a, you know, a real good individual play uh, tonight, uh, you know, between uh, McCann and Schwartz. They, you know, it was a nice finish and, and you know, so it's, uh, it's nice to be able to create a little bit of offense, but, you know, the bigger piece is getting the kill. So, um, you know, both, both sides, especially teams, we've got work to do. But you know it's nice to start uh, with you know with a clean slate on the PK. That's that's a good place to start and a good place to build from. Dave, to that point, I asked you before these two games what you wanted to see systematically. You talked about seeing some of the foundations. What do these two games tell you about where your team is and where they still need to put yeah, some work in? An awful long way to go in terms of you know you know building the complete package. That's for sure. I mean tonight was it was pretty scrambled. I, you know actually really liked the the pace. Uh, that we played with in the first period, and uh, I thought our puck movement was a little better than it was at that time. It came last night, especially, um, you know. But uh, you know, there's portions of the game where you can take, you know, some sequences and and you know see a lot of solid play, and then there's you know there's other times of the game, you know, where you know things get you know broken down and pretty sloppy. So we've got work to do, but that's you know right away tomorrow we've got first opportunity to have two good practices tomorrow. And we'll take advantage of that and uh, try to keep building. Vince Dunn's play on the sprung goal, going in behind the net with the puck, is that something you want to see him do more confidently, more aggressively? Yeah, we want, I mean, you know, to, you know, to generate in the offensive zone, I mean, a couple of things, you know, trying to find some, uh, some motion from our defensemen is really important. Um, and then, you know, also Spronger found a way to get, you know, to get inside on that play. Uh, we had a guy on top of the blue paint. So there's, you know, there's a lot more going on there than, you know, than just, you know, Dunner, uh, you know, uh, wheeling through the zone. So there's there's some motion that we want to create. Um, you know, we want to have some some structure and some order to it. Uh, at times tonight that was there, other times it wasn't. Uh, but uh, you know, on that particular play, that's a nice play by Vince. We talked about Smart a couple of days ago and what he needs to do here in camp. What does a goal like that do for him? For me, it's not the goal. I know he can score in this league. I, I know he can do that, and that's it's not easy. I don't. I'm not. I'm not diminishing that in any way. I thought he played his ass off tonight. He played hard, and that's what we want him to keep doing. He's done that every day. Um, he's just got to continue to do that. Um, you know, in in, in all three zones, um, and you know, it's nice to see him be rewarded with that goal tonight. He earned it, um, and that's you know, that's that's a great positive. Dave, less than a week already uh, with camp. Is there things you have not worked on? You looked forward to doing the next two. Yeah, days? I mean, we're we're scratching the surface, to be honest with you. I mean, we uh, we had about a three-minute meeting in here uh, tonight, uh, same as we did last night, and talked about some of the basics that you know we you know we should have in our game. Um, you know, we we saw some of that both nights. Now we've got a you know we got we got a long ways to go. There's there's a lot of pieces to put in place, and uh, you know for sure f you know far from complete uh, complete efforts, but um, but good competitive efforts. So we'll take that. And like I said, go back to work tomorrow. Anything in particular maybe that you haven't worked on that you want to get to? No, I I mean we I could give you a laundry list. I mean we could sit here and talk for a long time. Um, you know, but we've, well, you know, we do have, you know, we, we've been able to hit on some things. Um, a lot of it, 
you know, a lot of it can, can be carried forward from pieces of our game last year. Uh, but again, when you have a new group and, you know, 50 some players in camp, you know, there's a balance between, you know, letting individuals try and work and compete and, and trying to build, uh, you know, build in the structure while you're doing that. Preseason games often have a lot of penalties in. There's been a lot of penalties here these two nights. So, yeah. so how does that affect kind of the structure you want to see? I mean, there's not a lot of five-on-five. Well, five. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, it takes away from the five-on-five. Five and, you know, your, your, uh, your special teams guys, especially, you know, when you have guys that are playing both sides of special teams, I mean, you, you know, you start, you know, the minutes get pretty high. I mean, you look at a couple, a couple of our guys, you know, the minutes after two periods and, you know, you don't want to go too far, especially in game number one. So it, it has an effect. It takes away from the flow and, and the rhythm of the five-on-five five game. But in saying that, it's part of it as yeah. well. So, I mean, it is what it is. You know, take the opportunity to uh, to see what guys can do in some of those special team situations. Um, you know, for sure on the PK, we got a, got an opportunity to look at some different guys tonight. And, you know, a guy like, uh, you know, Truzzi tonight did a good job on the PK. You know, he, he uh, you know, he built some good momentum for himself in that role. Um, you know, each night we've we've seen you know portions of the power play that we like. You know, pieces that are there. You know, parts that are coming together. But uh, just you know, a lot of work to go on uh, on both sides. Good. Thanks, 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 thanks. All right. Thanks. See you tomorrow.